Oh my goodness, it's so good to film. This past week has been so incredibly crazy. One thing after another that has put off filming for me. So I have about four videos that I'm behind. I will do my best to get a video up every single day this next coming week. But right now I wanted to go through my weekly makeup basket with you guys. If you've, if you've never seen one of these videos before, pretty much all I've done is I've went through my makeup. I've picked out a couple things that I want to wear for this coming week. And I'm just going to go through and show them to you as I would kind of apply them to my face. So starting off with primer, I've been using this little deluxe eye sample for a while and it has lasted so long. I'm so impressed with this and I don't even like primers. So this is the Benefit Stay Flawless 15 Hour Primer. Um, I only have a little bit left so this is probably going to be used up either this week or next week. So that is what I have in there. And then on to a concealer. I like to put this one down before my foundation just because this doesn't really move. This is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW15. So this is pretty much, you know, as light as I can put down without it looking crazy. So it's very thick and like I said, it doesn't move. So I can put this down and then put these guys over the top. This is going to be my foundation combination for the week. Uh, this is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid, and this is in NW10, and this works pretty well right now, but I thought I would try and use up this little sample here. This is the Lara Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid. Um, I think this is in the shade Vanilla. So this is just a little bit yellow for me, and this MAC one is pretty much spot on, so combining these two together... It gives me what I have on my face right now, and I think it looks pretty nice. So, essentially everything that I'm going to be showing you right now, I have on my face. And then, if I have any issues on my face, oh, speaking of that, I do. Because I had two products last week that I, had, I hadn't used them in a really long time, and one of the two, or both of them, broke me out like crazy. I mean, intense, crazy breakout. Uh, from about here down. So this is going to come in handy this week. I don't usually break out unless there's a product that I have a reaction to. I mean, that's pretty much it. So it, it's intense. So this is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Camouflage Cream, and this is in the shade number three. I've, I've definitely talked a lot about this on my channel. I love this concealer. It's definitely my hands down favorite concealer. So Gonna be loving that one this week. And then for powder, I have the Physicians Formula, what is this called? It's one of their powder palettes, and this is in the shade Buff. Let me show you really quick. It just has all these little different multicolored um, little sections of the powder, and then when it's all blended together, it's, you know, pretty much the perfect shade for me. So, and it's pretty sheer too. It doesn't really cake up very much, so I do like this. And then for my bronzer, Ronnie actually sent this to me. I'll link her channel down in the description box down there, but we've done a couple swaps back and forth and we just did a Christmas swap, so you might be familiar with her, but she sent me this. This is the NARS Laguna and Orgasm Duo. So this has the blush over here and then the Laguna bronzer. That's what I'll be wearing this week for in my contour and for bronzing around the face. So. I didn't wear a lot of blush last week just because I didn't want to accentuate my, you know, issues that are going on from those two products, but um, I did end up repressing my Clinique blush. So let me show you that right here. This is the Clinique blush in Cupid. So I put this uh, back towards the very back of my cheeks and I kind of pulled it up towards the front a little bit today too. So I'm actually really enjoying this blush all on its own. I don't find that I have to have a secondary blush that's a little bit lighter, but I, you know, either way. And then if I wanted a kind of gold sheen on my cheeks, I have my NARS Orgasm Blush. And yes, um, I do have the duo that Ronnie sent me that has orgasm in it, so I could just use this in my makeup basket this week, but I've had this blush here for so long, so I thought I would just use this guy and try and 
you know, make some more progress on it, see if I can hit pan on it this year sometime. And then for a highlighter, I have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And it's in the old packaging right here, and there is a swatch of it right there. It's really pretty. I love using this all over the face, not just as a highlight, but also as an eyeshadow. I love this product. For my eyebrows, I have the Maybelline Master Shape in Deep Brown, and it's just a really dark, you know, brown waxy pencil that doesn't really have much red in it so I do love this thing and then over the top of that I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills tinted brow gel in granite so on to eye bases I have two of them one of them I just put at the inner corner of my eye right in here to kind of brighten up and you know give a little sparkle in there that is the Laura Mercier caviar stick in pink opal and this is just a really you know, it's kind of like the name says, it's pink opal. It's got some really gorgeous sparkle and sheen to it, so I don't know. I'm just trying to use this guy up. It's in my Finish 7 by Spring, so it doesn't have the same texture as the rest of my caviar sticks, so I, I don't mind using it up. And then the other item is my Maybelline Color Tattoo in, what is this one, Seashore Frost. And this is the blue one that kind of has a gold and green shift to it. I have that down underneath my eye look today and you know I've had some people ask me what to put over this. You could put anything over it. I you know I put neutral shadows over my eye look today and it didn't turn out blue so <laughs> I really do love this this um, color tattoo. It's one of my favorite ones. For eyeshadows this week I have the Lorac Pro palette and I should have an update. I'll probably film an update for this tomorrow so I don't know if it can be uploaded tomorrow if I'll have time to upload that but Monday for sure I should film that and then I put this over my eyes uh, I think in my last video and I had quite a few people ask me what was on my eyes I dabbed this all over the lid this is the elf long-lasting lustrous eyeshadow and this is in Soiree and if you can see it's kind of like a shimmery pink that's it on the hand right there I just dab that right over the top of my lid but it's like a shimmery pinkish purple kind of moussey whipped texture it's so strange but it's really gorgeous on the eye and I mean it's really not doing it justice with all the shimmer and everything it's really beautiful I don't have this one on the eyes today actually but that one, I'm excited to play with that just to mix up my Lorac palette a little bit. And then if I want nude in my waterline, I have the Rimmel Scandalize Coal Liner in Nude. A subscriber was so incredibly sweet and sent this to me. This is the Pixel Party Proof Liner, and this is the one in Extra Black or Ultra Black. I can't remember which one it is, but this is what it looks like. Uh, they're pretty cheap. I think they're about five bucks at Ulta and it has a little brush tip and super jet black it's what i have on today but the last time the last couple times that i went into ulta they haven't had these in stock i mean they have like orange and green but i'm not gonna buy those i want to buy this one and i asked the girl the last time i was there and she goes you know we might get one or two things in from the brand but we're probably not going to carry the brand anymore or get any more shipments in because they're discontinuing it at ulta so uh, super frustrated. If you can find these black pixel party proof liners, pick up as many as you can because I can't even find the black ones online anymore. Mm. <laughs> it really bums me out. I'm having such a hard time with, you know, the brush tip liner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Ransom. And this is just a really, I don't know, it's like a bluish purple. It's just showing up purple here, but it's got this like blue shift to it. Um, it's really patchy on its own so what I like to do when I have a black winged liner like this I'll just run it right over the top of the liner and then I'll have a purple liner that shows up really intense. So that's how I like to wear this. I'll probably wear this three or four times this week. I decided I'm going to start working through all of my smaller mascaras and then I'll open up some bigger mascaras. So the first one that I'm going to be using this week this is the Buxom Lash Mascara in Blackest Black. This is the teeniest 
tube of a sample mascara I think I've ever used. So the reservoir in here is so small. When you put the brush in, it goes all the way to the bottom. So there's hardly any product in here. So I feel like if I use this the entire week, it will be finished up because I've had it open for a little bit. And then the other one, this one's almost dead. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara. And this one is just in black. So I really do like the Clinique mascaras. That is what the wand looks like. So this one's really good for volumizing and making your lashes look really dark and intense. And this Buxom mascara is really good at separating and lengthening. This gives about zero volume. <laughs> so I'll put this one, the Buxom one down first and then I'll layer the Clinique one over. That's what I did today. I feel like my lashes are okay. They're borderline trying to get clumpy, but they're okay. And then onto lipsticks and lip products. So let me give you a swatch of this one super fast. I found this one. I had lost this for my Finish 7 by Spring update, but this is the Clinique lipstick in Baby Baby. And it's just a really, you know, basic lip color. It's kind of nude. It looks more like a gloss on the lips. I have it on today. So that is it right there. It's just really shiny. I really do like this one. So I can put this one down or the next one down. This is the MAC uh, Cream Sheen in Peach Blossom. And this is just a very light, sheer, peachy shade. And then I have a lip gloss from MAC that I could put over the top of either one of them. So that's the Cream Sheen and then that is the Clinique Lipstick. They're both pretty sheer. I'm playing it low key on the lips this week. Maybe I could have a smokier eye. But anyway, the lip gloss is gonna be Max Angel. And this is really gorgeous. It's my favorite lip gloss from MAC. That is a swatch of it right there. Love this stuff. It goes with anything, I tell you. <laughs> For my perfume this week, Oh, I was cleaning out my purses and switching my purse around and everything and I found this old perfume It's not really old. It's probably been in that purse for like two months, but this is a guest perfume I'm not entirely sure What the actual name of this is but this is what the bottle looks like if you know what the name of this perfume is Please let me know. Oh, this is so good. So good. So this is what I'm gonna be wearing for the week and that is it so I guess just expect videos from me every single day of this coming week. Hopefully I can catch up. You're just going to be seeing my um, January videos in February. So anyway, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.